Well, I think what we're talking about, uh, to sum it all up, uh, based on what the panel has said, and everybody has really just honed in on the uh, what I call the foundation. And if you don't have a strong foundation, uh, you can't be more than, than average. Educational system teaches you how to memorize, take tests, repeat the information back, you get labeled by grade, and then they give you a piece of paper and say, now go out and make a living. So the process starts, the learning process starts all over again, and we live in a world where we're doing the same thing over and over every single day. So if you did the same thing you did yesterday as you did today as you would do tomorrow, what have you done? Nothing, because you did the same thing. And how long can most people do that for? They do it their whole lives. So they look back and say, they say, what have I done? I have no more money in the, end, in the beginning, in the end, than I had in the beginning. So the idea of having a foundation, as the panel talked about, understanding who you are, is the critical piece. Otherwise, you can't think. And when you can't think, you can't build. So you have nothing to think about, and you end up turning your power over to the world to define who you are. Mm -hmm. So the world says, well, if you don't know who you are, let me define you. And they define you by your race. They define you by your gender. They define you by your class. They define you by how much money your parents had and how much money you have. You're defined by your car. You're defined by your clothes. And we think that means something. And so we always live on the, the external. And we turn our power over to everybody else to determine our existence. And we don't really have a foundation for improvement. And the only thing that I know that makes us equal is, is one thing. All of us have 24 hours. So the question becomes, what are you going to do with your 24 hours? If you don't connect your heart and soul and to your mind, passion to your mind, to your intellect, and then to the American free, free enterprise system, and then to the world, you can't create options and you can't bring the resources of the world that's available out there to your own personal life. When you can't do that, then you can't connect. When you can't connect and you're walking around not engaged in the world that you live in, and you end up just being powerless and, and, and subject to the world's new nuances based on what the world wants to do with you. And so you, so you essentially become expendable. So the idea of making education relevant and work relevant and information relevant so that it has meaning and value based on your passion and based on your goals and based on your vision and based on your plan and based on your, your team that's what that's what's, uh, I call authenticity that allows you to maximize your potential based on your talents, based on your skills, and based on what you bring to the table. Now, as far as uh, the, the answer to the question of who you are, is it, is it something that continues to change as we evolve and, and accumulate additional experiences in life, or is it something that tends to be static and once you kind of have a sense of who you are, regardless of where you go in life, it tends to be the same. You, you have to change because the world is constantly changing. Right. And the world tries to change you. So you have to be fluid. And you want to be fluid, and in this world today, you want to be seamless. So you want to be able to do a lot of planning and preparation. You want to be, you know, behind the scenes. You want to be able to control as much of the situation as possible because you've done the work. And what you want to be able to do is you, you have to be able to, um, you know, have some idea of where you're going and where you're going to be. And you, you have to be kind of two steps ahead of, of, of most things. And if you don't do that, then what happens, you get, you get lost in all of the changing things that happen around you that are happening very quickly based on the global marketplace. So, again, if you go back to that space within the space, if you focus on the war, if you focus on Paris being burned down, if you focused on all those things that are happening in the world today, uh, and I don't mean to be Paris being burned down, but all of the things that are happening there because of the unrest, right. if you if you get into a situation where you start um, trying to take on the whole world and its problems, then what you ha what happens is you lose your focus and you lose your influence. So you have to stay really focused on what you're what you're able to influence based on your environment and based on your control. And so it's great to have vision, but you got to go back to what's happening in my life right now. 
how can I, you know, what kind of workout should I have today? How can I, you know, protect my health? Or what, what kind of health program have I, have I created for myself today? Have I done all the push-ups I'm supposed to do? Have I, did I swim the laps? Did I, did, you know, did I run the miles that I plan on running today? And so it's, it's a combination of organizing everything that, that gives you the strength that you need to survive just for today. And then if you take seven of those days, you got a great week. If you take four of those weeks, you got a great month. If you take 12 of those months, you got a great year. And you can, you can pretty much through the process build value, as much value as you possibly can. And really that's what the world has, that's how the world sees you. It sees you based on the value you create. So the world sees you as you see, see yourself. And so change, with change, you have to, you have to change and you have to begin to change the way you think and feel about yourself. I say every single day, because the only thing that makes us equal is we've got 24 hours. What's the question? What do you do with your 24 hours? What most people do with that 24 hours is give it all away. And, and so we're here today, ladies and gentlemen, you're here, you travel all from miles and miles around the country to be here to find out how to be the best you can be. Well, I can tell you, the uh, only way you can be the best you can be is you got to be free. Well, wh wh what's he talking about this freedom stuff? We're in America, we're, we're free. My country tis of thee, sweet land of liberty, of of thee I sing, land where our fathers died, land of the pilgrim's pride, from every what? Mountainside, let your freedom ring. How do you let your freedom ring? How do you do that? Well, it, 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 see, it took me a long time to get that, ladies and gentlemen. Took me a long time to understand this freedom stuff. Took me a long time to understand that the world's a collection of unlimited wealth and resources. Often we limit our potential by moving in our own small circles because we don't know how to do the deal. What's the challenge? The challenge is to change the way you think and feel about yourself when? Every single day. And it took me a long time to get this. Everybody's free because everybody has 24 hours. Everybody's got 24 hours. What's the question? What are you going to do or what do you do with your 24 hours? And most people in the world, I would say, are not free. 99% of the people are followers as opposed to leaders and they get up in the morning like they schedule goes like this they get up in the morning they wash their face they brush their teeth they get something to eat they get the kids off and they got children they work all day come home in the afternoon they have dinner spend some time with the family watch tv go to bed that's monday what do they do on tuesday what do they do on wednesday what do they do on thursday what do they do on friday Friday, they go out, the eagle flies. Saturday, what do they do? They wash, they clean up, they, they iron, they shovel snow, they cut grass, they watch sports. They, Saturday night, they go out. Sunday, a lot of people go to church and they eat chicken dinners in the afternoon and they get ready for what, ladies and gentlemen? Work on Monday. Now, this is the question. How long can they do that for? 30 years. A whole life. And they look back after 30 years, they said, you know what, I've been doing the same thing for 30 years. I have no more in the end than I had in the beginning. And so if you did the same thing you did yesterday, as you would do today, as you would do tomorrow, what have you done, ladies and gentlemen? Nothing. Because you've already done it. And so what's the missing piece for 99% of the people in the world today? The missing piece is they forget to, they're so busy running, they forget to T-H-I-N-K. And they say, you know what, they get this bright idea, I'm going to school. 
And the educational system teaches them how to memorize, take tests, repeat the information back, they get labeled with a grade. If I ask the student what they learned two weeks later, they say what? I don't know, I forgot. <laughs> so if you're doing the same thing over and over every single day, everything you learn you forget, nothing from nothing is nothing. And so the question is, is how do you grow? And the world says, you know what, I'm going to put you in a box because you can't control your own life. You don't know how to maximize your potential. You don't really understand the true meaning of leadership. You're really not free. You are still a follower as opposed to a leader. You're still a slave as opposed to a owner. And I'm not talking about slavery in terms of race. I'm talking about slavery of the mind. And so I'm here this morning, ladies and gentlemen. Came from Chicago here to try to wake you up.